Hey, I'm Josh Hollingsworth and I'm glad you're here. I want to talk to you really quickly about how you can build and maintain physical strength at home with absolutely no equipment using brief bodyweight exercises and the tiny habits method. Now whether you've been strength training for years and you're looking to move your routine to the home or you're just looking to get started, this can be a very effective approach for you. Now, safety first. If there's any reason that you know of that you should not be strength training, please don't. And if you're unsure, just talk with your doctor first and get there okay. All right, body weight exercises. There are a lot of options, but if you're looking to hit all of your major muscle groups, then I would recommend starting with what I call the key three exercises. So this includes the push up, the squat, and the angled row. So uh, the push up, most of you are familiar with. Uh, it's going to work your chest, your triceps, so the back of your upper arm, and your shoulders. Uh, it can be modified to most fitness levels from beginner to advanced, uh, and that's the first one I would recommend. Next is the squat. It can also be modified uh, for beginners all the way through advanced trainers. It's going to work your lower body, uh, including your glutes uh, and your buttocks. And then lastly is the angled row. So the angled row may be uh, new to some of you guys. Uh, but it's going to work your back muscles as well as your biceps and your shoulders. Uh, now normally you would do the angled row with a piece of equipment uh, called a suspension trainer. But if you don't have a suspension trainer uh, or and you can't get one, then you can make a uh, suspension trainer out of a bed sheet. Now this video includes a PDF with it. Uh, in that PDF, be sure and check it out, there are links to all of the exercises that I'm talking about, including the modifications. There's also links to instructional videos on how to make your own suspension trainer. All right, so those are the key three exercises I would recommend starting with, uh, the push-up, the squat, and the angled row. Now let's talk about exercise performance really quickly. Now, when you're performing the exercises, you always wanna use good form. Focus on form, form first, right? Uh, and this includes moving slowly, and with control. So you don't want to bounce or jerk or swing your body, right? You want to move slowly and always have control through the movement of the exercise. Uh, you also want to be sure and breathe while you're performing the exercise. You don't have to breathe in time with the exercise, just make sure you're breathing throughout the exercise. And lastly, let's talk about tiny habits integration. So anchor moments. You want to find anchor moments that are reliable, so they occur every day or every weekday, and specific. For instance, after I first put my feet on the ground in the morning is very reliable and more specific than after I wake up. All right, behaviors. Uh, focus on tiny, right? The, uh, for your recipes, I recommend using one rep or one repetition of whatever exercise. So you focus on, uh, let's say your recipe is after I first uh, get out of bed in the morning, I will do one air squat. Right, so you focus on doing that one air squat right after you get out of bed, uh, and that's the habit. Now you can always do more. Feel free uh, to do as much as you want and put forth as much effort as you want uh, whenever you're motivated and able, but you focus on tiny and consistency. All right, uh, celebrations. You wanna feel good after every set, after every repetition, no matter if you do one or 100. You want to celebrate immediately after uh, and get those positive emotions going to help wire in the habit. All right, and lastly, you also want to uh, design your environment, right? So if you can leave your uh, suspension trainer hanging up or right next to where you're gonna hang it up, uh, that's just gonna make it that much easier to get started when you're ready to do your angled rows or whatever other exercise you're doing with the suspension trainer. All right, and you also want to rehearse at first and revise as needed. So once you get your recipes made, you wanna rehearse them at first, uh, I recommend about five times, and then revise as needed. So as soon as you realize something's not working, just revise it, change the recipe, change your anchor, uh, change the behavior, change the celebration, figure out what works for you, all right? So that's it. Uh, again, I'm Josh Hollingsworth. Be sure and check out that PDF. It also has links to my uh, free five-day program, email-based program. Uh, it has a link to an online recipe generator if you want to create some recipes uh, with body weight exercises that'll help you get started. It has my contact information in there. So let me know if you find this helpful. If you make a suspension trainer, uh, email me an image of it. Let me see. Um, but anyway, I hope this is helpful. Y'all stay safe and stay strong.